Hi everyone, it's James. I got myself a USB 3.0 to IDE SATA adapter from Amazon Japan. It costs 3,399 yen, which is about $24.30 US. Now you're looking at Amazon Japan, but I found the exact product on Amazon USA. So let's just look at the product on Amazon USA. It's a Unitech USB 3.0 to IDE and SATA converter external hard drive adapter kit for Universo 2.5, 3.5 HDD SSD hard drive disk, one touch backup function. Included 12 volt 2A power adapter. I have several old IDE hard drives and there's data in them so I want to look at the data and choose if I want to keep or delete them. So this is the perfect adapter to get that information. Here's a USB 3.0 and this kind of cable and the power cable. Looks good. Read three drives simultaneously. Look at that. Great compatibility. 4 pin power, micro USB 3.0, DC 12 volt switch, 40 pin 3.5 inch IDE, 44 pin 2.5 inch IDE, 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch SATA, one click backup. The CD driver is installed for the one click backup. OTB doesn't work on Mac OS and Linux. Super speed, data transfer up to five gigabytes per second. USB 3.0, USB 2.0. No driver needed, plug and play. Let's get to the adapter. Here it is, Unitech. It is brand new. Behold, the adapter. There's a power lamp, backup button. This is the front. This is the left side for SETA. This is the back. Power switch, power. This is the right side. This is the bottom. This is made out of plastic. It's small, very lightweight. Amazing. Here are the cables. Nice. Power adapter. This is the plug. CD. and user manual. It's in English. Okay, so I'm going to read this. German? Is that German? Yep. Italian, I think there are other European languages here. Any Japanese? Yes. 
at the back, there is Nihongo, that is Japanese. So I'm only concerned with the English. So I'm going to, okay, these are the list of languages. So I'm going ahead to read this and then I'll get everything connected. I'm back and uh, I finished reading the user manual. The disk is for setting up a backup. So if you want to back up your data, you need to have a CD-ROM drive. Okay, and install this CD to get the drivers for backing up. Okay, I'm not going to use this. Maybe in a future video. I'm only concerned about seeing what's in my hard drives and seeing if I need any data. So let's get to that. By the way, this cable is called a micro B, a micro B USB cable. I didn't know that. Okay, let's get everything set up. So I'll be right back. I've got one IDE hard drive and, and I've got two SATA hard drives. I've plugged in the power adapter and this micro B. I am going to connect this SATA there. Perfect. Switching it on. There is a blue light. I don't hear anything. Okay, there it is. That sound. It is opening. I haven't I haven't seen this in years. After K, what is it? System Okay, these are um, music. Two thousand seventeen Taboo Disc. Oh, okay, that is a National Geographic video. is very old. This was from my old computer. It appears I don't have any useful information. So I can turn this off and remove this. And, and see what's on this hard drive. This is great. This one? Oh, it is this one. Okay. It's in the J drive, 87.9 gigabytes, free of 199 gigabytes. Let's see, you see Japanese here because I live in Japan. Uh, what's this, JPG? Okay. Okay, so it works. It, I'm able to see what's on my old hard drives. This is great. Now to see if it reads this IDE. Okay, I'm going to remove this. Lucky me, I found two more hard drives. These are old hard drives. Whoops.
no problem. It's plugged in like this. This is only a 40 gigabyte hard drive. I hear something. Come on, come on, come on. Work. That sounds a little strange. I don't see it here. It's not reading or there's nothing on it. Okay, let me try the other one. This is a Seagate uh, 120 gigabytes. Uh oh, wait up. Hopefully all the pins go in. Nope, oops, no good. Oh, it worked. Sheesh, okay, come on. Work, read. Come on, work, 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 work. Come on, come on. Okay, it worked. I see E drive. H. Okay, what's on this? Okay, there is some data, so I can see. All right, it works. Okay, once again, okay, this is, it's the E drive, 120 gigabytes. Okay, there is some data. Windows XP. Okay, I can delete this. I don't need this at all. There's nothing on it, but it works. Okay, bravo. Okay, where is the other one? So I'm glad this works. I will not be using this. I'm going to actually throw it away. This is an IDE and 250 gigabytes. fits perfectly. It's working. Data, 250 E drive. There it is. All right. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, there's my, there's my music. Okay, it works. Okay, guys, um, that is it for this video. So I can confidently say that if you need to access your old hard drives, get something like this or get Unit Tech. It's my first time to have anything like this. It's lightweight, it's portable, it works. Bravo, and it comes with a CD that you can you can do a backup. Uh, I don't need to use it right now. It's inexpensive, and I recommend getting one. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.